Why did the Bosnian chicken cross the road? To get into Croatia, of course. <laughs> it's a Bosnian chicken. Border crosser. <laughs> Run, little chicken. Border crossing's gonna get ya. Run! Border crossing dogs. Oh, and now we have a goat little gathering here. It's Goatopia. Goats. goats are like, uh, I'll get around to it. You can't run over to goat. And the goats know that. It's a stare down contest. Alright, I think we're actually going to get on the road now. <laughs> we heard about another interesting landmark within a 30 minute drive of our Airbnb. An underground airbase on the border of Croatia and Bosnia. So we got into the car and headed further into the countryside. As you can see, it took several miles of rural back roads to get to Zeljava Air Base. After hitting a few potholes and dodging several larger ones that tried to swallow our poor Ford Fiesta with no spare tire, remind you, we arrived at the very remote and abandoned complex. We had our first encounter with the border security police upon arrival. They didn't even ask questions and just waved us through. So we began our exploration of the site. We did notice that every 10 to 15 minutes, the border control did drive by us. We were not sure if they were checking in on us or looking for people crossing the border. They didn't talk to us. This was the largest underground airport and military airbase in the former Yugoslavia and one of the largest in Europe. It is estimated that this project costs an equivalent of six billion U.S. dollars to construct. We're not sure on the exact amount, but agree that it must have cost an enormous amount of money. Tucked into the mountainside and now overgrown with vegetation are four tunnel entrances. There are 100-ton retractable concrete blast doors that are allegedly designed to withstand a direct hit by a 20-kiloton atomic bomb. These blast door openings, as well as three of the outer entrances, were shaped in such a way that a MiG would fit neatly through it. At the end of the Croatian War of Independence, the former base ended up on the border between Croatia and Bosnia-Herzegovina. Most of it is within Croatia, but it is a border region, so it is patrolled by border security forces. As we walked around, we noticed quite a bit of destruction. We had read that the Yugoslav Air Force made sure to destroy portions of the complex and runways by setting off explosives. The whole complex has been lying abandoned ever since the 1990s. The area around Zaljava is heavily infested with landmines from the Yugoslav Wars. The warning signs you see are genuine. It is best to stay on the tarmac. Apparently people have been killed wandering off into the forest here. And allegedly the area is also used for the training of mine sniffer dogs and for testing demining equipment. This is an eerily desolate place, and the tunnel network inside the mountain is a dark maze to explore. Let's see what's inside.
Nope, nope, nope. Oh. <laughs>